So, the raid for the Division 2 dropped yesterday and I am not in the best of moods with this game at all because of it. There's a few things I want to talk about and obviously you've got to give credit where credit's due. Marco Style and his team were first in the world to complete it. But also, Jasamian, Craigie, they spent hours and hours and hours streaming it to have no success. Not only that, but credit goes to Con and the rest of my team. We had a couple of people have to drop out for personal reasons, maybe too late at night and stuff like that. But we were quickly able to get other players to join. So thank you to everyone that come along and tried it with us. So a lot of you will know that I've been complaining on Twitter and in the community tab post I put up that the raid's an absolute joke. I'm going to be brutally honest with what I think about it. This isn't out of a jealous perspective, this is just complete anger. Not just for me and Con, but for the rest of the team, everyone that tried with us. Not just that, the whole Xbox and PlayStation 4 community, we've been shit on by the devs basically. So to start with, the armour on this first boss, the first boss that everyone on console is stuck on, the armour just goes up so fast if you don't get that chest piece destroyed. I don't know if it works exactly the same on PC, but from what I've seen it looks as though it's a little bit slower for him to heal. We're talking about the boomer boss by the way, the first one. Literally the second gunfight into the raid, the first boss. We tried with full communication... A strong enough team to complete that raid, we tried for 4 hours. Jasamian tried for nearly 9, Cray G was trying for like 6.5. Then you get Marco Style on PC with the rest of his team, Wids, Nick2, there was a couple of others in there. They took down that first boss in like no longer than an hour it must have been because they were up to the final boss in 2 hours. It was the final boss, the Razorback, that took them three hours. It took five hours altogether for them to do the raid. Three hours were on the final boss, two hours to do the rest of it. Everyone on console were trying for four hours plus just to get past that first stupid fucking boss. I don't know if people would have done it by now because obviously I've had a full night's sleep. It's the next day for me. So I don't know if people have got past it because Jasamian got really close to getting rid of his armor. But then boom, out of nowhere, he takes the second turret down. That's objective failed. Just stupid mechanics in the first boss. Like, that should have been the final boss. That was so tough in terms of, like, you have to be spot on with your comms, your rotations, everything needs to be bang on perfect, or it just doesn't work. Personally, I'm feeling the devs are going to come out in a couple of days. They're going to make it easier for Xbox and PlayStation 4 players. They're going to open up the matchmaking. And that's because... I actually think it was fixed for the bigger influencers for the game like Marco Style, Wids. They're all like the biggest YouTube influencers for the game. They put out the best word. They attract the most attention. So I seriously think something was done in terms of helping them become the first. Ever since the start, I said to everyone in my raid, I said, I guarantee this is fixed. Marco Style is going to do it. Like he's going to complete it first. Not because he's the best in the world at this game because there is a lot of decent players, but because the devs have done something to make it possible for him to do it first. Obviously, there's competition between him and other players on PC, unless there's like a secret patch or something. I just think it was fixed. It was always going to be Marco Style that completed it first over anyone else in the world. Literally, after sitting there for, I'm going to say, three and a half hours trying to take down his first boss, we all run out of energy, we lost motivation, and we gave up. We just quit out of the raid, we was all done. We sat there for like an hour, maybe two hours after just talking about everything. And we actually watched the final boss fight with Marco Style. That's why I've given him credit. Like, it, it is really, really hard work the whole way through. But he managed to do it. Regardless of what's happened, there's no hate towards any YouTubers for this. If there's any haters towards the devs, because they fucked up. They fucked up badly. From this, I would like to see a developer live stream or even recorded footage with no cuts, just a straight run of eight people from the development team actually doing the raid. There is no way they have tested any of these mechanics, they've just thrown them in, let us do all the testing for them, and it's bad enough that you can't just match make for randoms, like yeah obviously with the amount of comms needed, with the builds required and stuff like that, it's going to be hard with randoms, but the power of randoms is underestimated sometimes. Sometimes you will find amazing teams if you allow matchmaking. So I want to see the devs, like that is a request. If a developer ever sees this or if someone forwards this to a dev, I want to see devs actually complete this raid, sit there and go through the stress that we've had to go through because there's no way they've tested any of it at all. Mechanics like that on a first boss are just a joke. There's no other words for it. It's ridiculous for them to expect. Even like the player base is dying down. Players are 
going back to Division 1. They're going off to other games. They don't care about this game anymore. And the devs have just decided, we're going to make the raid like this. It's going to be near on impossible for console players to actually complete it, so we're going to fuck off the rest of our player base. Everyone's going to go. No one's going to come back to this game. Another thing that really annoys me, not specifically directed towards the raid, but they had multiple stages of PTS, public test servers, open on PC, multiple stages over the last few weeks, and they still badly messed up with the update. Title Update 3 has brought on so many bugs yesterday in the raid. We had sound bugs, we wasn't shooting our guns, and all of a sudden we would hear the constant gun shooting loop. And I've done a separate video to it, there's just bug after bug after bug with this new update, and they had PTS to test everything. So I really don't know what's going on in development, but it's an absolute shambles at the minute. They need to get their arse in gear, they need to get it sorted, or people are just going to uninstall this game and just wait for Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Another thing that baffles me is the raid was initially announced for April the 25th, they delayed it until after title update 3 dropped the other day, but they said in the state of the game, we're going to give you guys time to sort your builds out, blah, blah, blah. I was thinking from that, okay, we get a week or two after, it gives us like way more than enough time to sort our builds out. Then we find out, oh, two days, that's all we have to grind. People are working, people have personal issues like family troubles or whatever. They've just taken commendations out of the game for having to log in a certain amount of days and now they're forcing it with invasion rotations as well. They gave a one day or a two day time window to get the, is it the puck? I don't know. There's a certain thing for the Nemesis exotic sniper. You had like a two day window to grab it from Grand Washington Hotel because now we're switched back to Capital. They Basically what I'm saying is they took commendations out of the game because they felt they were forcing players to do things but now they force players to do things in a different aspect, so it doesn't make sense. And now we know that the invasion rotations are going to be scheduled instead of being random. The thing I don't get is Yannick said during the state of the game that they have no intention to make us aware of which rotation is going to happen. So right now, we are doing the capital building. We don't know next week if it's going to go to District Union Arena or over to Roosevelt Island, and the following week we won't know either. They know exactly what's going to happen as developers and they have no intention at all of telling us what's going to happen so we can't prepare for anything. And I saw the damage numbers, like the damage Marco style and his team were dealing in that raid and after all the nerfs and stuff in TU3, like Marco's has barely played the game in the last three weeks. So how they've got builds set up to be that strong, that fast is beyond me. I don't reckon they've had enough time. I don't know how they've done it. As I said, credit goes to them, but it still baffles me. And the last thing I want to say is matchmaking isn't completely disabled. It's messed up how it works. The devs have even said that you can't matchmake. But if I come over to this chopper, if there's people standing in this area on different servers, I can go in, I can select the raid, I can create it. There's only one person nearby, but I could invite JM Rossi into this raid right now and we could go do it as randoms. So there is kind of matchmaking although they've said there isn't, as long as you're near the helicopter, you can matchmake. You can find random people that are nearby, invite them in, you can get raids going. And I did the community tab post and said in the comments of the previous video to leave your gamer tags for PS4 IDs, like your PSN IDs. I said, do all that good stuff, find yourself a group. I want to apologise to everyone that found the group through my comments and stuff because the raid is so bad. When I said that, I honestly thought if we can come together as a community, get people in different groups, help players out, it will be a fun time. There is nothing fun to that raid. The second area is an absolute nightmare. But one thing I'd like to say is regardless of what I think of the raid, I know a lot of players ain't coming back. Con doesn't want to play this game anymore. Almost everyone that was in the group with us doing the raid last night said that they wanted to go back to Division 1 if there was a player base for that game. GTA, like there's loads of other games that people want to play, they don't want to touch Division 2. Apart from the raid, this game is fun. Yes, the PvE aspects get boring quick, but I am not going anywhere. I'm going to stick with Division 2 because I enjoy playing this game. I don't know how long the content will last, I don't know if the devs are ever going to sort things out and make this game work. How Division 1 was working after 1.8. I'm actually, like, I actually have faith in the devs to make this game work, to make it fun, to build the player base back up, and just give us, an in, like, an enjoyable time. Like, so far for me, everything is quite fun. The raids piss me off. 
but a lot of players have now given up with everything else because of the raid. But I'm not going anywhere, I'm going to stick with Div 2. Obviously I'll be playing other games at the same time, but I'm just letting you know that I'm not stopping playing this game. So you will see more content for it. But for now, that's going to do it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, let me know all your thoughts and stuff in the comments. Thank you for watching.